Neuroscientists have found that overfed brains are more likely to become impaired. Matson reports that fasting causes an array of neurochemical alterations in the brain. Abstaining from food boosts cognitive function, decreases inflammation, and helps one cope with stress. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Longo. And we are Fanny Jesse. So, right about now, we're gonna do another reaction. But before we get into the reaction, guys, we want to thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to our channel. You're the realest MVP, man. And we have a new channel that is called Fanny Jesse 2.0. Just go and subscribe to our channel. We're going to put a link somewhere below the description or we're going to put a link towards the end of this video. Anyway guys, just go subscribe to the channel if you want to see our daily uh, life and you can put a challenge on us. Just uh, let us know in the comment section below or you can go on our social media and maybe talk to us. Just drop a DM over there. Just let us know what you want us to do. And yeah, thank you so much again for subscribing. Another thing, thank you also for like, you know, hitting that notification bell for being the, uh, hitting that notification bell so that you can be able to be the first person to watch our videos. And also to all the people out there who've been giving us reactions, we want to thank you so much. And also the people who have been commenting. There are so, so many comments down below and we've been reading some comments. Some comments are just, you know, we look at them and just let it go. Some others we we reply to them and people are learning, true or false. A lot of people are learning, we're also learning towards this journey. And I mean there's so much that we are learning. Uh I'm, I'm we, we are trying to find peace, get it. And there's 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 a lot of things out there. At the end of the day, uh, we But there's we a have, lot of um, positive feedback. Yeah, so many positive like ninety-nine percent is positive feedback. Yeah, like this video I about to do was in response to maybe three videos back. Yeah, so well, yeah, and it's, it's good, man. Like it's good for uh, for us talking to you guys. It's really really amazing. And if you feel like you want to react with us, you know, just I like the fact that somebody just goes and writes in the comment section like fast comment. You get it? That's so amazing. You get it? It's also amazing. Maybe we should give those ones a shout out too. Yeah, shout out to the the the, the, the FJ. We, we don't have the names yet. No, we can call we can call them FJ family or something. <laughs> shout out to the FJ family man. Shout out to the, the no, no, sorry, shout out to the notification squad. <laughs> shout out to them and for hitting uh sorry for like commenting. Being the first and yeah, for being the first person to you know to comment. Anyway guys, thank you so much. And so right about now we're gonna do another reaction and this we're gonna reaction was suggested by Conan Seventy Seven. Anyway, and he or she suggested that we should go react to benefits of fasting for the brain. This is different right here. I mean Seems interesting. Seems really interesting. Let's see what 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 does fasting benefit. I mean I know it benefits us too spiritually, but I don't know about the brain. So probably let's get into let's it and see. That. Let's get it. What does fasting do to your brain? We have been made to believe that the average human should consume three meals a day, plus snacks and drinks. But the truth is that this amount of food is not necessary to maintain a healthy body and mind. Food companies and pharmaceutical industries push for excessive food consumption in order to make an ever-growing profit. The bottom line is that healthy people who exercise and engage in fasting are not profitable enough for these billion dollar companies. The sad reality is that many people today lack self-control and do not eat out of hunger but purely for the comfort and enjoyment of food. This has sparked a rise in obesity and many other diseases. The Prophet, peace be upon him, emphasized the habit of eating less as a method of preventing sickness and disease. He said, nothing is worse than a person who fills his stomach. It should be enough for the son of Adam to have a few bites to satisfy his hunger. If he wishes more, it should be one third for his food 
one third for his liquids, and one third for his breath. Right. Effects of fasting on the brain. Yeah, sure. Professor Mark Madsen at John Hopkins University, chief of the Laboratory of Neuroscience with the National Institute on Aging. He has published a number of papers that can explain how fasting two times a week can reduce the chances of developing Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease, which are on the rise. We've known for quite some time that alterations to one's diet impacts brain functionality. Neuroscientists have found that overfed brains are more likely to become impaired. Madsen reports that fasting causes an array of neurochemical alterations in the brain. Abstaining from food boosts cognitive function, decreases inflammation, and helps one cope with stress. Fasting is the equivalent of issuing a challenge to one's brain. The brain responds by modifying stress pathways and consequently reducing the risk for various diseases. A person who fasts empowers his brain to boost his protein production and catalyze the growth of neurons and bonds between neurons. Memory ability and learning aptitude increase in response to fasting as it stimulates the creation of ketones and mitochondria in neurons slash nerve cells. Fasting even bolsters the fortitude of synapses. In some instances, fasting helps create new nerve cells from the hippocampus's stem cells. Fasting for DNA repair. Professor Matson has also found that those who practice fasting are more likely to enjoy enhanced nerve cells that repair DNA. Fasting can protect the immune system as refraining from food consumption helps stem cells self-renew from a dormant state. Fasting essentially destroys old, compromised immune cells and catalyzes stem cells to form a brand new, perfectly healthy cells. In 2007, a scientific review of studies centered on fasting was printed in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition. The review determined that fasting is an effective means of reducing cancer, as well as cardiovascular disease. The article also provided evidence that fasting has the potential to treat diabetes. It is clear that fasting boosts the brain's health and functionality, as well as the integrity of the cells throughout the body. The problem? You'll most likely never hear about any studies performed by the pharmaceutical industries or any food companies regarding the merits of fasting. Their agenda is clear. Encourage human beings to overeat and sell them pharmaceuticals to alleviate the negative consequences of such a gluttonous diet. However, you do not have to eat three square meals each and every day. You have the power to read about the benefits of fasting and incorporate this knowledge into your everyday life. To conclude, as time goes on, science will continue to uncover information that supports the Muslim way of life. Professor Mark Madsen mentioned some powerful life-changing benefits that come from fasting twice a week. But fasting twice a week is not a new thing for Muslims. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to fast on Mondays and Thursdays every week outside the month of Ramadan. This sunnah is still practiced by millions of Muslims all over the world who continue to benefit in ways they didn't even know. right there I didn't know fast like I didn't know fasting could do all these things like to be honest uh, wow and this is a scientific you know yeah I mean it, it can it can it can it can even heal stress like how I mean like wow that's really amazing and also it can reduce uh, you know it can prevent diabetes it can I mean a lot of things wow cardiovascular diseases or something all of them. I mean, you can just any disease. I think we should start fasting or something. I mean, I mean that should be the first thing we should be doing now. And uh, as, as as he was starting to, like the opening uh, speech, was really was really what important. He was saying that uh, uh, like these industries. 
they want you to eat like three times uh, a day so that um, at the end of the day you find yourself sick and you find yourself going to a pharmacy or hospital just to buy those um, uh, pills or whatsoever thing that are out there you get it I mean this this is so true if you look at the world today why are we eating why are we even subjecting ourselves to eat three times a day I don't get it. who came up with that theory of like let's eat three times a day for me I mean it doesn't make sense you can eat once and boom you feel good but I don't know but you have even if you eat once you have to mind the time you eat because mm -hmm. that's really important because I understand when you wake up in the morning first of all you have to drink water a lot of water then uh, probably during the day 12 1 2 that's when you can eat at least a heavy meal maybe 12 let's say 12 maybe you can eat a heavy meal that is going to take you all the way through the whole day maybe you can be uh, ingesting fluids flu is not bad like what like but basically just water but you have to eat some fruits so don't say fruits you can eat fruits but not uh, i mean okay I for think me that's a little bit ignorant what do you mean so you drink water in the morning and your heaviest meal is going to be fruits no i, don't, I didn't say fruits i mean you can you can choose I whatever no i said after eating if you want to in at the least, morning are we still talking about the morning because I thought you were giving... No, I was saying, like in the morning you can drink water or you can yes. even eat small fruits mm -hmm. and then uh, in the afternoon probably have a heavy meal and then towards that period of time you can have like dates you can have small fruits or fluids and stuff like that, you understand? Or groundnuts, or peanuts and all those kind of things. Yeah, I mean, that's a good way of... But how many people are following that? Mm. I thought you also would want to explain why someone should take a heavy meal during the afternoon. Why should somebody take a heavy meal during the afternoon? Is because when the sun is up there, the metabolic uh, the, the metabolic rate is high, so the digestion also is 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 really high and what and those and those kind of things. So when you eat a lot during the day, I mean the energy goes out there. You get it? Imagine you eating at night. And then you want to go sleep. I mean, what's going to happen is the food that you've ingested is going to go into fat, mostly. You get it? Because you're not burning anything. Because you're sleeping the entire day. Sorry, the entire night. There's no. You're not moving. You're not doing anything. You're literally just half dead. You get it? So a lot of people can still eat at night. Just that watch the hours when you eat. Anyway, what time is late for you then? Like for me to eat. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, if you can eat from six a.m. Oh, sorry, six p.m. It's fine. Six or five a.m. P.m. You know, even in school, even in school, you know, you're going to be affected. I didn't know why. First of all, it's going to make you because when you sleep, you maybe your food will be digesting. So when you wake up, you tend to be tired. Also, like you said, fat is stored. Yeah, I never understood why in high school we used to eat at five p.m. Five to seven. No, ours was five. Just five? Everyone gets saved at five? Five to six should be done. Why you are not a lot of students? We are a lot of students. By by six should be done. Mm. Okay, I mean it was I, I never understood but as I continue to, 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 to live I understood more that we're supposed to even eat at five. But the most appropriate one if you can eat during the day a lot of food and then during this, the rest of the hours will just have to be on fluids, then that's fine. I mean, be on anything that you want to be on, something light. Not anything. Be on something light is okay. It's like you choose. It's like you're telling people what to eat. No, it's no. That's for me, guys. Not, not, not. Uh, say yes. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. for me. That's for me. You can be on anything if you want to. to you can be on anything light. I mean. It's up to you. So and you this think? video was very interesting. Too interesting. Because yeah. I find myself, when I feel stressed, I feel like something is bothering me. I tend to feed myself sometimes. I don't get weight, but I just feed myself. And it's just a different thing. I had no idea that actually fasting can help you with how you manage things. 
fasting is good actually. The thing that this guy, this guy has mentioned about the brain and whatnot is really really important. I think I should start fasting. Yeah, maybe I'll start with one day in a week probably. Anyways, and, so all, and that only takes just two days of fasting. Yeah, only two days. You can for things to change around your system. Yeah, so anyway guys, if you feel like we reacted to this video in a better way, just give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about this video right here, benefits of fasting for the brain. If you have more information, just go in the comment section below and let us know what you, I mean, just tell us man, like what is the, maybe there are other things apart from the brain, just let us know. And also, uh, we want to thank Conan77 for giving us this reaction video. You're the realest MVP. If you have more reaction, just let us know. This is really informative. You can give us more informative reaction like this one. We really, really appreciate that. And yeah, the most important thing, guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The more you keep on subscribing, the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you better, better content. And last but not the least, we're going to see you in the next video. And peace out.